Come, brothers. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah, we just caught a glimpse of it. I, I got it on mine. Come, brothers. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah, we just caught a glimpse of it. I, I got it on mine. All right, Shalom. All praises, honor, and glory. It goes to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakai Kadash. Double honors to the apostles, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Brakatham thumb to the hopeful elect. Shalom, Shalom. In today's video, this is going to be another video in response to the camp that we had yesterday through the Spirit and Power, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, because for the second time in a row, the chariots of the Lord, which the world calls UFOs, had appeared to brothers uh, while we we're in the campsite doing the work of the Lord, man. And uh, these are just the signs of the times because through the spirit, we can feel things are heating up. We can feel the pressure of prophecy, you know, getting more and more intense as we move along in this world. So obviously seeing the chariots one time at camp, you know, the one time that they showed up, they showed up four. They did four rounds on us. Now, you know, a second week in a row, they pull up a couple more times, man. And it's just uh, all we can say is the Wadi how about Shmiao Shai for showing us these things because Lord willing, we be the elect. You know, we're hopefully considering ourselves worthy of being a. Uh, Getting that reward of salvation and getting that reward of immortality, man. Because in the video I did before with, you know, the three niggas <laughs> who say they're Israelites and shalom you, but do nothing to make themselves eligible for that reward. They definitely not getting that. You know, those are the type of jakes that get left behind because, you know, what it say? Ones that knew the Lord's will and did it not shall be beaten with many stripes, man. Now, obviously, you hold jakes uh in the truth that are actually <laughs> in camps accountable for that because they don't do the will of the lord but also you lower level jakes man one that ones that have came across the camp ones that have came across the prophets man you're not eligible but <clears throat> i just want to go through this second edge of seven a little bit i'm gonna start at verse 41 it says even so now seeing corruption is grown up and wickedness increase the righteous pray for the ungodly Wherefore shall it not be so now also? And these are the things that we're witnessing, man. Corruption is grown up and wickedness has increased. Verse 42, he answered me and said, This present life is not the end where much glory doth abide. Therefore, have they prayed for the weak. You understand? Because the, the real glory comes from a completely righteous world, man. And by the Lord showing us those cherries, he's giving us a glimpse of that. He's letting us know that, Lord willing, we be the elect. We still in the running to achieve that reward, man. Because to go from this life to the next life is a, is a complete uh, 180, man. It's something, it's, it's glory that <laughs> that has never been seen on this world. Said so this present life is not the end where much glory doth abide. Therefore, have they prayed for the weak. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of the immortality for to come where corruption is past see same things that we hope and pray for the day of doom you see that that hit that this exists in the scriptures this is why they want want to take the apocrypha out it speaks on the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of the immortality for to come wherein corruption is past intemperance is at an end Infidelity is cut off. Righteousness is grown and truth is sprung up. Then shall no man be able to save him that is destroyed, nor to oppress him that have gotten the victory. The victory, man. This is what it's all about. Get <laughs> Being able to escape the, the mass death that's going to come upon the planet Earth by doing all means, you know, in righteousness of what you have to do to survive, man. To make it to endure, it, hey, it, it, it's it, it's a worthy reward for the victory, man. Second Ezra seven verse fifty seven. Drop down a bit. It said, "Then he answered me and said, This is the condition of the battle, which man that is born upon the earth shall fight.' 
You see, you have to fight for the name of the Lord. In which the man that is born upon the earth shall fight that if he be overcome, he shall suffer as thou hast said. Which means getting the punishment of somebody that's cursed. Getting the punishment of being an enemy of the Most High, man. Whether you're a heathen or whether you're a, a, a wicked ass two-third Jake, man. But if he get the victory, he shall... Oh, it says that if he be overcome, he shall suffer as thou hast said. But if he get the victory... He shall receive the things that I say. For this is the life where uh, Moses spake unto the people while he lived, saying, Choose thee life that thou mayest live. You see? And hey, Lord willing, we be the elect. If we make it through this life, we will <laughs> have the everlasting immortal life with no limits, man. See what I'm saying? I'm going to wrap it up on here. Second Ezra 7 verse 62. I answered then and said, I know, Lord, that the Most High is called merciful and that he hath mercy upon them which are not yet coming to the world and upon those that also turn to his law and that he is patient and long suffering those that have sinned as his creatures and that he is bountiful for he is ready to give where it is needed. Right. And we need mercy. We need help. We need backup, man. These bodies is breaking down. You know, the demonic attacks is increasing on brothers. Hey, so hey, just when you call up on help, just like we've been seeing at camp, the help arrives, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahushua shows his face to those that truly love him. It says, and that he is bountiful for he is ready to give where it needed and that he is of great mercy for he multiplied more and more mercies to them which are present and that are past also to them which are to come for if he shall not multiply his mercies the world would not continue with them that inherit therein man which means all things will be destroyed if the most High didn't have mercy upon his people because this devil would destroy everything you understand but hey lord willing this was edifying all praises honor and glory it goes the Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rakak with Dash, double honors to the apostles, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, bracket thumb to the old full leg. Shalom, shalom.